Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Since I lay my burden down, well, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I lay my burden down. There is life in Jesus. And outside 
of Jesus, there is no life. There's things in the world, there's, there's things that the devil may offer us to say this will get you what you desire in your heart. But there is no life. The Bible speaks in John 1 that in him was life. And the light was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Jesus is the only life. Jesus is the only way. Is that right? Right before he left here, he began to talk to his disciples in John. And Philip asked him, Lord, show us the way. And in plain English, we'll be satisfied. Jesus told him, have you been so long with me and don't know the way? I am the way. The truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. If you depress, Jesus is the life. If you in sin, Jesus is the life. If you're down and destitute, Jesus is the life. Is that? I said, I know this just didn't happen today. I said, we left you six weeks ago. We were down in San Antonio. We just left you. You had to be already talking to somebody. She said, yeah, but I didn't want to shock, rock the boat. I wanted to make sure. She said, but he proposed. I said, is he anything that you want? She said, he's everything that I want. I said, it's better to wait and get it right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, when the wedding? She said, uh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> November, December. See, I'm sending you an invitation. I said, ooh, that's a long way. That's about 800 some miles down to Los Antonio. But the Lord does what he says. Yeah. Amen. 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 He's life. Yeah. There ain't no life around. People right now need rest. There ain't nothing in the world can give you rest but Jesus Christ. Amen. There's a spot reserved in your heart that only Jesus can feel. Yeah. We were made in his image. We were made in his likeness. We were made for him to live in here. Oh, yeah. What are you thinking about? You build a house and go down the street, come back, somebody living in your house. Amen. That's your house. This house belongs to the Lord. Right. Oh, hallelujah. Right. It don't belong to nothing else. Right. It don't belong for sin. It don't belong for all this other stuff we put in it. The Bible said that ye are bought with a price. When he went on the cross, the Bible said he purchased the church with his own blood. Right. Is that right? He bought us with a price. So serve God in your body. And in your spirit, which of God. I belong to the Lord. You belong to the Lord. He wants what's his. Oh, hallelujah. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? He wants what's his. This is salvation time. This is deliverance time. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, it is. He is, the, I'm seeing it every day. He is delivering. He is saving. He is healing. He is breaking the edge. Oh, how. He told me a couple of weeks ago, he's going to go doing like the Bible, saving whole houses. Not just one, but whole houses. Oh, my. That's what they did in the Bible. Amen. You shall be saved in your house. He don't just want you. He wants your husband. He wants your children. He wants your grandchildren. This promise is unto you, to your children, to them that are far, to them as many as the Lord our God shall come. I don't just want to be saved, but I want DeAndre saved. I want David. I want Dee Dee. I want DeAndre. I want my nieces, my nephews. But his promise is to everybody. 
The fuck for one is for something. It's for you. Is that right? Jesus is the hiding place. I remember years ago, I was sitting back and looking and thinking about that. Uh, Kawana was sitting at my table and we were talking. It's way back in the late 80s. And she was talking about, well, if we move to the land and if we move to the country, we'll be safe. And I just looked at her and started laughing. I said, if you get in Jesus, you'll be safe. The country ain't going to save you. It's the blood of Jesus Christ that's going to make you safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. Don't you want to be saved? Don't you want to be delivered? Don't you want to be saved? Yeah. Jesus is the only way that can be done. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. That's the only way. He is the only deliverer. Amen. He is the only deliverer, savior, healer is all the same. He is the only one. I am the Lord besides me. There is no Savior. Is that right? He said one thing, no man can save out of my hand. But he said if you get it in the Father's hand, no man can pluck you out of his hand. Is that right? Just get in his hand. I'm worried about, don't dare worry about the devil. Just get in his hand. Oh, because you can't pluck him out of his hand. I can't pluck you out. Once you in, he got a tight grip. Oh, hallelujah. The devil, trials, tests, nobody can pluck you out of God's hand. Just get in there. Amen. Amen. Get in there. Get safe. Get behind the arm. Get behind the bed. Get behind the blood. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus will keep you. And I know people think, well, I don't want to get saved and backslide. I used to think like that too. Amen. We've grown up seeing so much. Folk here, I don't want to be saved back. Give your heart to the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. He can keep you. Yes, yes, yes. He can keep you. How do you think folks have been saved for 45 years? Amen. For 50 years, he can keep somebody. Is that right? The blood is able to keep you. You've got to trust him. You've got to give your life to him. He will keep you. He'll clean you. He'll sing you right. He'll set you apart. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He'll make you a new creature. He'll change that mind. He'll change the thought process. See, I didn't know about all that. I thought, well, I didn't want to back that. I didn't know once I came in Christ, my thought process. Hallelujah. Would change. I wasn't worried about backsliding no more. I'm just worried about getting closer to Jesus. There's an experience like you ain't never had. If the Lord ain't never touched your life, you're missing something. But once you've been touched by Jesus, you will never be the same. If some you've been touched by Jesus, your life will never be the same. If he blows in your life, you can spend a lifetime searching for that feeling. But there ain't no other feeling but Jesus is the one. He blows in your life. If he touched you in your life, you constantly, I don't care whether you're on your bed at night, whether you walk in the street, whether you at work, it's constantly in your mind. I in your mind. Hallelujah. And if the Lord is drawing you, you can't get your mind off of him. When I was driving down, and the Lord was telling me, he said, if I'm drawn, that mind is constantly on me. When you go to bed at night, when you get up in the morning, when you go to school during the day, when you're walking in your work, constantly I'm thinking about, I need the Lord. I need to get saved. I need to be delivered. There ain't no rest for you. No, there ain't no rest for you. I don't care what you do. You can drown yourself in other stuff. But it ain't no rest for me. Amen. I tried. It wasn't no rest for me. And I could hear that voice in my ear. I drowned it with the music. That drink. That maybe that had drowned. It, that, nothing else would work. Hanging out with my guys. We go and perform it. Nothing else would work. Still by myself. I could still hear that voice. And there ain't no other voice like Jesus' voice. Can't nobody talk to you like Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It rings way down in your soul. You can even hear it in your sleep. When you wake up, you hear it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on in. There's peace on this side. Hallelujah. There's joy on this side. There's comfort on this side. There's life on this side. 
You ain't got to pop pills no more. You ain't got to take pills to go to sleep. You ain't got to take pills to get up. Hallelujah. I'll give you sleep if you want sleep. I'll give you rest in your soul. I'll give you comfort in your mind. Oh, hallelujah. You ain't got to take your life because Jesus wants to give you life. That's a devil. That's the devil. I'll end it all. No, it's just the beginning. Is that right? You may end this life, but there's a judge you got to stay with. Amen. That's just the beginning. Jesus came for torment. The Bible said he was in all points tempted like as we are. Yet without sin. I may not know what you're going through, but Jesus does. Is that right? He knows. He knows in your lonely hours what you find. He knows in your lonely hours what you're up against. Yeah. People may not understand, but he knows. Yeah. And you can be as low as you can be low. But he got a long one. He can reach down. Yeah. Hallelujah. And pull you back. Yeah. Praise the Lord. When you thought you couldn't make it, Jesus can touch you and you say, I can't make it. But through him, he'll give you a new name. Yes, he will. Amen. He went about doing good. He was in all. All. Oppressed of the devil. Amen. He was perfect in his walk. He was perfect in his life. They brought him before Paul. He said, I don't find no fault. You accuse him of all this? <laughs> Harry wanted to see him because he wanted to see a miracle. I don't find no fault in I can't find nothing wrong with it. Amen. Peter cut the man's ear off. He picked the ear up and put it back in. <laughs> Me personally? But I know it's the plan of God. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I ain't touching nothing. No stitches, no surgery, no nothing. Just picked the man's ear up and put it back in. Hallelujah. He was a walking miracle. Hallelujah. Liver disease, kidney disease, high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, blind eye. Oh, he's still doing it, y'all. He's still doing it. I had a preacher last night, a couple nights ago, told me he was in revival uh, at the Navajo Nation. And when one of them got up there was deaf, and the Lord opened their ears just like that. Opened their ears up, and he couldn't speak the language. He began to ask her. What is she looking at? She said she was looking at some white. She was looking at the top of his tent. The Lord opened her eye. Oh, hallelujah. You may not believe it, but I believe it. I know because he can do it. Sing it. This ain't hocus pocus. This ain't witchcraft. It's real. Is that right? There's a God that's real that wants to be in control of our life. That wants to give us Amen. Amen. So John said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth on him, believe it. All you have to do is believe it. Receive it in your heart. Whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have Everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. See, Jesus is seeking our soul. There was a man named Zacchaeus in Luke 19. And he wanted to see Jesus. But he was little. I was even small. <laughs> so he climbed up in a sycamore tree. And Jesus coming by looked up and said, Come on down. Today I must have died. Hallelujah. As the girls begin to plead his case, 
All my goods I give to the poor. And if I've taken anything by false accusation, I'll restore it fourfold. He looked at Zacchaeus and said, Jesus wasn't interested in nothing. He already knew that. He came for salvation. He said, today is salvation. Come to your house, being that you are a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man have come to seek and save that which was lost. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is seeking out. He's seeking out. Yes, he is. He told me this morning, he said, talk about me. Talk about me. Last night, I remember he said, talk about me. Talk about me. I am the deliverer. If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Jesus is the message with power. Amen. It's the message we deliver. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That name carries a dunamis. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Carries that power. Yeah. Carries that authority. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, when you cast out devils, use my name. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Then in Luke 9, he gave them power. He told them, go out. And when they came back, they said, the devils are subject to us. In your name, he said, I but hell laden is light and fall from heaven. I give you power over all the power of the devil. But it's only in his name. It ain't in Buddha's name. It ain't in Allah's name. It ain't in Asherah. It ain't in Baal. The devil only going to run through Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's got to be Jesus. Somebody say that name. Jesus. Jesus. Say it one more time. Jesus. Y'all act like y'all scared. Say it right. Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's power. And that, it's him. Amen. I'm going to say this and I'm going to ready to move on. I heard Shambach tell his testimony. I love to hear him talk about some of the stuff that he went through. And he said he was working with A.A. Allen. Yep. And during them times of the television evangelist brother, they have two or three tents up. So many people. I mean, Hundreds and hundreds. A woman came up. He was demon possessed. And A.A. Allen told him, he said, I've got too many people to pray for. You take this girl up in that next tent and cast that devil out. He said, his eyes got big as two bone dogs. He said, you want me to do it? He said, you can't work with me if you can't cast out a devil. Oh, hallelujah. So he said he took that woman over there. And he wrestled with that devil just about all night long. He said, come out. The devil said, I ain't coming out. <laughs> he said, I said, come out. The devil said, I will not come out. Come out, I said. The devil said, I ain't coming out. Then he said, the Lord spoke to him. He said, why are you wrestling with the devil? I already defeated him. Oh, hell no. He said, tell him in my name. Come out. Oh, hallelujah. So he said, he looked at that woman. He said, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out. He said, the devil screamed, oh, don't say it. He said, he got bold as a lion. Oh, hallelujah. He said, I command you in Jesus' name to come out. The girl screamed, the devil came out, and the Lord filled her with the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the only person to any match for the devil. He has to respond to that name. When you're in trouble, call Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Jesus will keep you having that today. Yes, he will. Call to be coming right at you. Oh, Jesus! My nephew just had a, 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 a trailer, a backhoe accident two weeks ago. He's out there working on the land and come somehow to where we were, we're looking at the video. But it got to the edge, and that thing flipped back over in the morning. Uh -huh. A backhoe type thing, but it was a small backhoe. And it threw him over. And I was talking to him later. He said, I called Jesus. He tried to jump off, and it took him and threw him over that cliff. And he landed on the back of his head. He split his head open, but he got up and he walked away from it. I said, I was calling on Jesus. I don't know how many, but when you look at it, it should have broke his neck. 
because he threw him backwards and he rolled over on his neck. But Jesus kept him from dying. Try to jump, see? Hallelujah. I don't care how good I am, I still need Jesus. Jesus will keep them. Yes, he will. I was just on the last week in Mississippi. He's a guitar player. I mean, this, this guy is sad. He's a mess. And he said he was out in Texas. And if any of y'all have been to Texas, Texas is the wrong state to be on the wrong side of the highway. That is the wrong state. 85 miles an hour is a legal driving range out there. So you can do 90 in some place. Get down towards San Antonio and come across through Austin and, and them turnpikes. You can do 90 miles an hour. And, and nobody going to bother you. Police ain't going to bother you. But he said he come out to the filling station. And instead of going across the median, he just turned left, running toward Oakland traffic out in Austin. I mean, it'd be coming down. He said he'd come over the hill and people was horrified. He said, but when he got over the hill, it was like two angels were standing in the middle of the highway. All the traffic was stopped. Oh, hallelujah. They would just stop. Like somebody stood out there and told him, don't move. Until he turned around and got back right. He should have been killed. I mean, road construction out there. And they still run at 70 and 80 miles an hour. Jesus will protect you. That name is a protector. That name will keep you. That name will deliver you. If you call it on him when you're in trouble. Hallelujah! Oh Lord, oh, he done kept me so many times on the highway. I'm coming down through Birmingham at 6 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody paying attention. I'm talking to my wife. And I see a guy coming right at me. One more place he could get around me. I said, I got to get off this phone because I'm going to have an accident. I put the phone down. I Jesus, I need some help. And closed my eyes because he was coming right at me. When I looked up, he was in front of me. I don't know how he got in front of me, but Jesus did Yes, he will. You got to pray for your children. Lord, keep them. He's kept me all these years. You know what I want to say? Even when we're doing foolish stuff. Amen. He kept us. When I couldn't pray for myself, mama prayed. Praise the Lord. That's my daughter there. When I couldn't pray for myself, mama prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus keep them. Yeah. While we was in school, boys do silly stuff. We used to. <laughs> in the neighborhoods we left, we all grew up in North St. Louis. We used to jump from roof to roof. You know them tall? They ain't know we were doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all did it too? Amen. <laughs> jump roof to roof. Leaping over people's cars. And at the school we went to in Columbia on St. Louis Avenue, we would leap over these tall rails, these 15 foot rails. I was about 19 years old. And we was taking time just jumping over, and not thinking of the danger. We were fearless. We were stupid too. I remember jumping and come back around the schoolyard. When I came back, I saw a crowd of people. Then I said, what happened? I just come around. The guy that was behind me, they had them spikes that poke out at the rail. And he went to jump, and his cuff caught it. And it just threw him head into the ground. He laid there. I remember all day, I went home, asked my mama to pray for me. And I was trying to figure out, Lord, mom, why did it happen to him? Why did the Lord, why did, I didn't fall. Why? You know, I was young. She said, because the Lord kept you. But somebody prayed for him, because he didn't die. Praise the Lord. He didn't die. He made it through. Jesus is like this. The devil can try to kill you, but Jesus keeps you alive. You're alive here today. Because Jesus kept you. Huh? Amen. He kept us alive. He put breath in my body. Keep my mind right, keep my head right. I used to work with a guy telling me, well, my alarm clock woke me up. I said, let me tell you something. 
If the Lord takes your breath, that long not be just ringing. Dang, 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 you ain't getting nothing. I don't care how you say it, you ain't getting nothing. Am I telling you the truth? It's him. Life and death belongs to God. It belongs to him. In him was life. And the light was the light of man. The light shines in darkness. The darkness comes in the night. Hallelujah. There was a man sent from God who named him God. He was sent to bear witness of that light. And that was the true light. That light of every man that come into the world. Amen. He was not that light. But sent to bear witness of it. Amen. He came to his own. His own didn't receive. But then as received, he gave them power to become sons of God. Even to those that believed on his faith. That was born not of flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. Hallelujah. And the word was made flesh. And it dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. There was a glory about Jesus. We beheld his glory. That is the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Full of grace. Full of truth. Which means when you mess up, he said, I've got enough blood for you. I ain't ran out. Thank you. I got enough blood to come. I got enough blood. Come on back in here. You said, I've actually turn around and come on back in. I got out of step. Take a skip and come on back in. I got weak. He said, come on, I'll spend Come on. Man. Fear thou not, for I'm with thee. Be not dismayed, for I'm thy God. Isaiah 41 tell you, yeah, I will help you. Yeah, I will strengthen thee. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. That's what Jesus does. Oh, hallelujah. Come on back in. The table is spread. He said, come. Your life is here. By, by your head, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your life today. We need your help. We realize and recognize that only you can help us. You said you sent your word to heal us and deliver us from all our destruction. We thank you for deliverance today. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. If you need some help today, and you know you need some type of help, you need salvation, some type of deliverance in your life, come on up here right now, and I'm going to pray for you. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. The Lord's going to help you. Is going to help you. Yes, sir. What you need to know. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we ask you to help this woman. She wants to continue with her recovery. Loose her the bonds of wickedness. In the name of Jesus, drive the devil out of her life. Oh, you're a backslider. My God. You used to be in the church. Some things hurt you and they drove you out, but the Lord is calling you to come back. Oh, in Jesus' name, we ask it right now to be so loose her. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's real. I said it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Thank God. You keep coming in here. My Lord. My Lord. Hallelujah. The devil tried to kill you about two years ago. 
but the Lord had his hands on it. Oh, my, 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 my. Yes, Lord. Yes, 